さお散歩しましょう散歩はい、はい、あはいセオちゃんって言います<笑>よろしくお願いしますえそうなんですか一緒に行きましたかあのおさん一緒には行ってなくて<笑>そうでも最近帰ってきたからああ筋肉すごい。はい。お帰りなさい。<笑>筋肉だらけ。両ちゃん今ね、あ、乗るよ一緒に。あ、そうなんだ。今い、今人力車の人たちの中に一番イケメンと思う人を探してます。<笑>イケメンさんちょっと僕も出てください。<笑><笑> Hello, it's your friend Anming here. I'm an American who's been living in China and Japan since 2012. And in this long time span, I've had the chance to see quite a few countries in Asia. And I have to say, Japan being an economic powerhouse and a country with a substantial population of foreigners, you might think that speaking Japanese probably wouldn't turn a lot of heads here, especially foreigners speaking Japanese in Tokyo. But despite how big and international this city is, every once in a while you might turn a couple heads. Yamanoki s t a n so I'm going that way. And I'll see you next time. Now, although those kinds of situations are pretty rare, the further you go outside of the big city, the more likely it's going to happen, even in the suburbs of the city. 何も悪い意味が入ってないです。まあ、実は最初にヤンキーというのはあの。I've seen that head turn reaction quite a few times here in Japan, although admittedly it's much more common in China. Well, with all the reaction videos out there on the internet about languages, I've gotten constant requests for Japanese reaction videos. However, I think that how people really react in Japan is going to be a little bit different from the way most people believe they will react. This is especially true for how people think elderly Japanese will react. So let's take a look at a couple conversations that I think are good examples and see if it lines up with how you think. It would. So、that. So that. すごい<笑>本当にすごいです。どうやって取りましたか手でああ、かりました。すごい。初めて生タコを見ましたあの今晩あのたこ焼き作られます<笑><笑>ありがとうございます失礼しますお芝居ねワンちゃんワンちゃんは可愛い,いタコ,タコはい、ほじゃ これは各地だね。各地好き。これ韓国の各地。あ、果物もあるね。ちょっと高い方だけど。ちっちゃいスイカ。可愛いね。これはめっちゃ可愛い。何か食べたいものあるの？フルーツとか野菜とか。<笑
But it's certainly true that as you go out of the center of the city and into the suburbs and even into the countryside that the reaction changes a lot. But that could also be because people tend to be more friendly as you get out of Tokyo. And they're just curious to see you walking around their neighborhood. They might even want to say hi to you. Going outside of Tokyo to an area like this can be pretty fun if you know how to get there and you know what to see. Now of course when you come out here you're going to have to rely on yourself a lot more because you won't find a lot of English speakers or English signs. But it's really worth it to get out where it's a little quieter and you get a better, more realistic view of what living in Japan is actually like. Because Tokyo is kind of a special place. One of the best things about leaving Tokyo and going out to the suburbs is that it's so quiet here. Aside from the bugs, <laughs> those are just cicadas. But you don't have that constant traffic going through and people constantly walking around at all hours of the night. Now I do like how quiet it is here and how peaceful it is here. It just I like this architecture, but I do like Tokyo a lot. A lot of people like to badmouth Tokyo to each their own because I, I'm i not such a big fan of quiet suburbia. People choose to live in the suburbs, either the north or south, maybe east or west of Tokyo, simply because it's cheaper. You could rent an apartment much cheaper out here in the suburbs rather than downtown. And uh, if you don't mind the commute, then that's a good choice. <笑>你都不告诉我今天要爬山 <怎么没告诉我>? <笑>